What's up guys welcome back to another interesting video on my channel and today I'll be showing you that how you can flash the TWRP or any other custom recovery on your phone without using PC. So for this video I'll be using my POCO X3 so make sure to watch the video till the end. So firstly let me tell you that the bootloader of your device must be unlocked. So if you haven't unlocked your bootloader then don't worry you will get a lot of videos regarding that on YouTube so make sure to check them out. Now if you have unlocked the bootloader of your phone just take the backup of your device before trying the steps cause you might have to clean all the data if something goes wrong so take a backup. Now after you have taken the device backup you need to bring your phone into the fast boot mode. So for this what you need to do reboot your phone from the power menu like this and then when your screen goes black then hold the volume down button like this and now as you can see that our phone has finally booted into the fast boot mode. Now after this the other steps are going to be performed from another phone. So for this you will need an OTG which you will get from the market for about 30 to 40 cents. Another phone where you have to keep the TWRP recovery file, your original phone cable and a pen drive for backup purposes where you will keep the custom room file if you want to flash a custom room. Now after all this you need to go to the play store on this phone and you need to download an app called bug jagger. Now after you have installed the app just open it and after that connect the OTG into this phone and then connect your phone's original cable to this phone using OTG. Pretty simple right? Now after all this a pop up will appear so just click ok and now you will need to move into the fast boot tab in the app which you will find right before the last tab. So after this here on the bottom you will find a flash logo so when you click on it a pop up will appear so just ignore it. After all this you will need to write a command while keeping your device connected so let me just write it. Fast boot then giving a space devices. Now when you click on the play button it's showing the serial number which means that our device is detected without any problem. So for the second step you will need to write another command fast boot space flash space recovery and then leaving a space on the top you will find an option to attach any file so click on it and then you will need to open the TWRP file. And by the way let me tell you that the TWRP file is just for POCO X3. Do not flash it on any other devices and moreover the command I'm using is for single partition devices. For dual partition there are other commands so keep that in mind. So after you have selected the TWRP file click on the play button and as you can see that the TWRP flashing process has started. So after it's completed you need to write one last command fast boot space reboot space recovery. So after that click on the play button and now as you can see that our device has started booting up and it has finally booted up into the TWRP recovery. So now when you will open the install tab as you can see that it's showing our internal storage files without any problem and if you have a SD card you can also access the files from there. So now as I have kept my custom room in my pen drive so I'll need to connect the OTG. And then after that I'll need to connect the pen drive. Once it's done when we will click on the select storage option and select the USB storage as you can see that it's showing all the files from our pen drive. Now you need to select the file or ROM which you want to flash like I will flash the paranoid OS so let me just click on it and now after that you will need to swipe the file like this and as you can see that the installation has began so let's wait for some time. One eternity later. So the ROM has been successfully installed in our device and what you need to do wipe the cache from here like this and then moving back into the main menu you will need to move into the wipe menu and then select the format data option. So now you will need to type yes and once it's done our data will be formatted successfully and we just need to reboot into our system. So as you can see that firstly the POCO logo has appeared and now the boot animation has also finally appeared. So let's wait for the setup screen. 
So finally our phone has been successfully booted into our new ROM. So I hope you find the video really easy to understand and if you did, like it, share it with your friends and most importantly sub to our channel. So goodbye and take care.